that's your underwear. Hmm. And you might say, well, preachers, some folk don't wear underwear. Where they got underwear here? Amen. Because the scripture says to, watch it, I hope you held your finger out, to clothe your heart mm -hmm. with compassion. Mm -hmm. Well, what's compassion? Compassion is a deep feeling about someone's difficulty or misfortune, so much so that you give them favor, grace, and mercy. You look at them and have compassion rather than attacking them. Mm -hmm. Body of Christ, we need to stop attacking folks that come through the door because they don't look like us. Romans 12 and 1 says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercy of God, to present your bodies and living sacrifice holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational, logical, intelligent act of worship. The next thing it says is kindness. That's going down the list. Y'all still on the scripture? One of the fruits of the spirit is kindness. Mm -hmm. And you know what this word is? It's kind of interesting the way this word fits. It actually means well fit for use. For what's really needed. And the Amplified, if we look at the fruits of the spirit, is one of the ones that's listed as the fruits of the spirit. But let's Let's look at kindness for a minute. Kindness is however you need to handle people to make them comfortable without compromise. Let me say that again. It's however you need to handle people to make them feel comfortable without you having to compromise. Humility. The state of quality of being, being humble, absent from vanity and excessive pride. There's nothing wrong with pride, but no, don't have too much of it done. Romans 12, Romans 2, 1 through 3 says, Therefore you have no excuse, O oh man, everyone, every one of you who judges for and passing judgment on another, you condemn yourself, because you, the judge, practice the very same things. Be careful of being on somebody for the same thing you did. How are you going to call somebody and you doing the same thing? We know that judgment of God rightly falls on those who practice such things. Do you suppose, oh man, you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you won't escape God's judgment? I tell people all the time, don't have that means you know, that used to be you. That's right. Gentleness is described in one word, be mild. Don't be mild when you can be, don't be spicy when you can be mild. Stop being so hard on people. I had to learn sometimes to stop being so hard on people. Tell them the truth, but stop being so hard on people. And have patience. And when I say have patience, see, waiting and patience is not the same thing. Y'all gonna walk with me? Right. Waiting right. and patience is not the same thing. You can be waiting on something and you be irritated. Mm -hmm. You can be waiting on something and you be doubtful. You can be waiting on something and be angry, but it's a way. Bible says it's a way to do anything. It's a way to wait. Hmm. Can you wait with a smile on your face? Can, if, can you handle people with patience without saying, I wish they were going on and hurry up? Mm -hmm. Some people go step by step. Some people see things as an overview. Some people are visual. Some people are verbal. Some people are tactile. Find out how they learn and work with them. Yes, yes. You got somebody you might preach all day, but they want to see how you live. That's right. They vision. Hmm. And then the next thing the scripture says is forgiveness. Y'all looking at that page? Mm -hmm. It is not Christian the whole grudge is 20, 30 years. Yeah, I said it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not Christian. Mm -hmm. But Pastor, you don't know what they did to me. It's not Christian. Check this out. The Bible says why we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Y'all right. yeah, walk with me now. That's right. That's right. We teach you today. Uh -huh. Now he died for you while you was a sinner. Right. Forgave you of your sins because you asked for forgiveness. And you're gonna be mad at somebody because they stepped on your toe 20 years ago. The devil is a lie. Don't be in that kind of bondage because you're mad at somebody over some silly stuff. Now, should you set yourself up to be hurt again? Certain things that you don't trust them with your pocket, but see, certain things, discernment and wisdom and good sense don't tell you not to do. 
But don't keep on carrying that anger. And then what's the, the last thing it says on there? It says wrapped up in love, don't it? Perfect bond of unity. I ain't looking at the scripture, but I know what it says because I studied it for a whole week. Have your armor, but have your underwear. That's how God designed it. What did I talk about for a minute? Shop on the right rack. Don't pick clothing that draws attention to yourself or causes a distraction. Focus on the spiritual clothing. Know the Christian armor. And don't forget your underwear. You need the armor. But you need your underwear. But, but, but before I close, can I tell you this? Have we learned something so far? Yeah. New people need new clothes. Ephesians chapter 4 and 24 says, And put on the new self, which is in the likeness of God, has been created in righteousness and holiness in truth. Since new people need new clothes, can I recommend a designer to you? Yeah. Romans 13 and 14 says, But clothe yourself in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. New people need new clothes. The Bible says we are new creature. Watch me walk with me. New creature, new clothes. Mm -hmm. This is the desire that you're working with. Amen. Clothed in righteousness. Amen. Well, what designer should I tell you about? Well, since you're dealing with spiritual clothes, you need to deal with with somebody that know my spiritual design. Mm -hmm. On the first day of creation, my designer created the light, the time, the heavens, and the earth. On the second day of creation, my designer created the skies and the seas. On the third day of creation, my designer created the land and the plants. On the fourth day of creation, my designer created the sun, moon, and the stars. On the fifth day of the creation, my creator designed and created the fish and the birds. And on the sixth day, the animals and the land, and then he made man in his own image. But what really excites me is that my designer planned salvation before the foundation of the world. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 1 and 4 says he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Does anybody know the name of my designer? All right. My designer is the one who made heaven and earth. My designer is the one who put the stars in the sky. Uh -huh. My designer is the one that made the rivers and the seas. My designer is the one that he knows all about us. He knows when we lay down and when we rise up. My designer knows all about you and still loves you. My designer name is not E. Saint Laurent. His name is not Versace or any of those other names. His name is not Gucci and he's not dealing with no red bottom shoes. Mm -hmm. He might not be a designer that you know the name, but he is a designer that we should all know. All right. My designer is the author and finisher of our faith. Our designer is the bread of life. Our designer is the captain of salvation. Our designer is the chief cornerstone. Our designer is the everlasting father and good shepherd. Our designer is the great high priest. Our designer is the head of the church and the heir of all things. Some people call my designer Emmanuel. I like to call him Jehovah. I like his Jehovah name. Some folks call him Jehovah Jireh. Some folks call him Jehovah Shalom. Do you know my designer? My designer is the king of kings. My designer is the lord of lords. My designer is the leader and commander. Are you in the 
Lord's army. My designer is the light of the world. My designer is the lion in the tribe of Judah. My designer is the all castle the lamb. He's the resurrection and life. He's the savior of the world. I believe he designed salvation many years ago. Before your mama thought about your papa, he already had designed salvation. Before they winked at each other, he already knew that you would be saved. My designer is a master builder. Why are you calling him a master builder? Because he took three nails and changed the world. He took three nails and they nailed him to the cross. He took three nails and he built a bridge for all mankind. But let me tell you something about it. It's not red bottom, but my designer got a signature. Bishop, what you talking about? He got a signature. Everything he touched, Everything he touched, everything he touched is covered with the blood of the Lamb. Everything he touched, let me tell you, it was the blood that Jesus shed for me. It was the blood way back on Calvary. It was the blood that gives a strength of day to day. That's his signature. That's why I want to let you know there's no greater miracle. There's no greater miracle. That's salvation. Yeah. It's not cost to blow. Yeah. It's not people going through an accident and they don't have a scratch. The greatest miracle is salvation. The greatest value is your soul. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose the soul? What would it profit a man to gain the whole wide world and lose his soul. Y'all know I, I just gonna share a little secret to you. Sometimes life will get a little crazy. Sometimes you don't know which way is up. Sometimes it look like things ain't happening for you like on, you But you know what I remember? He got the whole world in his hands. He got the little bitty baby in his hands. He got you and me. Man. I heard an old preacher say, God will never have too many children that he can't take care of everybody. The greatest tragedy is not to die. The greatest tragedy is not to die. But the greatest tragedy is to die and not be saved. Yeah. That's why the greatest decision is to accept him as Savior. Oh, yeah. Accept him as Lord. In the end of your life, is he your Lord? Is he your King? Yes, he is. Except him as Savior. But I got a question for us. Sit out. What clothes you have on? Yes. Do you have on the arm of God? Yes, I got on my arm. Huh? And don't forget. Don't forget. Yes. Don't forget your underwear. Yes. <laughs> Put on the arm of God. And don't forget your underwear. He's the greatest designer. He's the greatest designer that has ever been, that would ever be. He's designed the clothes that you need to wear. God's Christian apparel. Yeah. Amen. amen. Did somebody get something about the lesson? Yeah, it was good. Amen, good. amen. amen. Good we serve. We serve. We serve. A mighty God. We serve a mighty God. Whatever we need, he has it. What I wanted you and encourage you to do is stop following the traditions of man that don't line up with scripture. Only hold on to what makes sense. What you can find in your Bible. And what Bishop gonna do is I promise to always teach and preach Amen. what you can find in your Bible. Because what we're doing here at Zion Tabernacle Church, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministry, is building winning lives for our coming Lord. And how you doing it, Bishop? With the Word of God. 
Because the word what? The same? I'm trying to go. It's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. So you ain't got to worry about people keep on switching up some more. Because his word stays the same. So as I close, woman, <laughs> don't you sit at home because you don't have a dress. Come on to God's house. The, the, don't, don't you sit at home because you don't have a blouse. All you got is a t-shirt. You come on to God's house. Don't you let nobody run you off because you don't look like them because you have a tattoo that you had when you were 16 years old and they bothered you about that when you walk in the door. You, I, this is a place you can come. Because you know, whosoever will, let it come. Now, I ain't talking about rebellion. I ain't talking about going against everything. I'm talking about going against things that's not right and sticking with Scripture, sticking with Word. I was exceed, yours to accept or reject. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, guys. This is Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries. My name is Priscilla Guillory Brown. Some people call me Priscilla. Some people call me Lady P. But this is Priscilla Guillory Brown coming to you with Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries. And we have some wonderful, 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 exciting news that's going on in the ministry, guys. This that We are in need of your help. We need partners in order to help us get the word out about Jesus so that we can share the love of Jesus Christ. We want everyone to be saved and for, for the whole body of Christ to know of Jesus. So, guys, we need your help. We need partnerships. We need partnerships at, at, at the minimum level of $10, $20, $30, $40, $40 and $50 or more of monthly partners in order for us to continue with the word of God. Guess what, guys? You know, like they say on TV, and wait, and wait. We got a special bonus coming to you guys. For everybody, everyone that donates at least $20 or more, you know, you're going to get something for free. You're going to get Bishop K.J. Brown a book that he just wrote out called are you ready? And there's a word here that says Harpanza. Look it up. It's in the book. I'm not going to tell you what it means, but look it up. But anyway, Bishop has wrote this wonderful book about the rapture. And guys, we need you all to, to, to donate. Every first 100 people that donate at least $20 or more will receive this free book, guys. And guess what else we got going on? Bishop K.J. Brown has built his very own radio station. We are so excited and so happy for this radio station, guys. It's going to bless you. I mean, it is phenomenal. It is, how they say, bananas. You're going to go bananas over this station, guys. Bishop Brown will be preaching at every three hours. Is it three hours? It's three, mm -hmm. six, nine, and 12 a.m. and p.m. Around the clock. Three, six, nine, and 12. Three, six, nine. Just like a cheer. Bishop Brown will be bringing you the word of God. And guess what? It's going to be different messages. It's not going to be the same message you heard at three. It's not going to be the same message you heard at six. It's going to be different messages daily that will be on the radio station. Guys, I mean, Bishop has built this radio station. There's lots of praise and worship. You're going to hear good music, good choir music. You're going to have some contemporary music on there. You're going to have some country music on there. Is it rapping on there too, Bishop? There's going to be raps on there. I mean, guys, Christian raps, it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. But remember to go to www.bishopkjbrown.org in order to get more information about the ministry and also on, on order for you to click on to the radio station. Bishop Brown, go ahead on and take it away from us. Well, I just want to let everybody know that uh, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is a, a family of ministries. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is Zion Tabernacle Church. Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries is Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries itself. But we also, the way that we do ministry is digital in addition to some one-on-one. -on -one. But we have a radio station, and that was something God just dropped in my lap and told me to do. I, I didn't have any experience on how to build a radio station 
or how to get everything together, but God told me to put the gospel in their hands, put the praise in their hands. And I didn't understand. God gave it to me in a dream. And then I, I, I one day, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it, and I had my phone in my hand, and it came to me. That's what God was talking about. And so the radio station has it where you can send a prayer request. It, it gives you the link to send in a prayer request. It talks about uh, how you can uh, listen to the messages. I'll let you know that it's at 3, 6, 9, and 12 a.m. and p.m. And then also uh, it talks about, uh, it just talks about Jesus several times a day. And, and, and the thing about it is I wanted some praise, I wanted preaching, and I wanted prayer all in one spot. And God gave all of this for me to do, but we need your help to continue it. Yes. Uh, the radio station, uh, the programming I'm doing, uh, picking out the songs, my wife is helping with that. Uh, I'm doing too. Uh, God just putting a lot of hats on for me in terms of what I'm doing, and I'm enjoying the journey. But I need your help. We need your help because what we are, and we are a ministry that believes in building, winning lives for a coming Lord. We're not a prosperity theology ministry and all those kind of things. We don't have any kind of gimmicks or anything like that. We just straight up word. Mm -hmm. I preach like that. My wife preaches like that. Storyteller, Pastor Simmons preaches like that. We are a word church. We're a word ministry. So I want you to know that we have the radio station. We have the building fund that we're doing because we're going to build a ministry facility. A ministry facility. We're just not building a church. We're beyond that. God showed me beyond that. The ministry facility will have the community center. It will have the worship center. And it will have the administrative offices, and that will be the television production and the radio production. Because what we're doing, we're not, we're not going to stop. We're going to do bigger. Right. We're going to do bigger. Right now, we're on Kingdom Purpose TV. We come on every Sunday at 10 a.m., and we have in the future that it's more stations that we're going to get on because we want to reach the nation. We want to reach the city. We want to reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ because there is no greater value than your soul. I've been saying it for so many years. Uh, I, I'm excited about doing this commercial because I really, uh, this this just a little talking, uh, because I don't really like talking about me, but I love talking about Jesus. And I have a passion for this. I have a love for this. Uh, the television is for you. The radio is for you. The app is for your convenience. We send in Bibles to Africa. We've been sending Bibles to Kenya for quite some time. Uh, uh, we're going to want to try to continue to do that. I lost uh, contact with the uh, the young man, the pastor, uh, uh, during the pandemic. Uh, we're going to try to do uh, Kenya again or either Uganda. But we, we continued in our commitment to send Bibles to Africa. The reason why we stopped is that I didn't want to send Bibles and I didn't know it was getting where it was supposed to go. I didn't want, Because I want to be, and we are good stewards over that that you give. My mother, Mother Brown, some of you know her, she always said, bless it and stretch it. And so what I do is I, I believe in what she prayed to bless it and stretch it, but also everyone that gives... It could be a dollar a month, a twenty dollars a month, or whatever it is. Anyone that gives to Bishop KJ Brown Ministry, Zion Tabernacle Church, I pray over that gift. I do it personally. I do it personally. I pray over that gift. We you we, we do the uh, offering uh, on, on on Sundays. I, I pray the prayer, but I also take those names. I look at that list as it comes, and I pray for those individuals that God will increase them that God will increase what goes into their household because everybody wants to move in. Everybody wants to have more. But what we want to do is think about kingdom. So I want you to give not so much as a percentage gift, but a priority gift because I want you to give to kingdom because God is, hey, he's coming back. Yes. That, that's what this book is about. I never saw... At this point in time in my life, me being able to be a published author. Author of Are You Ready? And I didn't know what to write on the first page. I sat with an empty screen, an empty sheet of paper, and I said, God, you show me to do this. You're going to have to show me what to do. And now we got a book. Everything that God has shown me has come to pass. And I believe that God is going to use you for the efforts that continue in what we're doing to build the kingdom. In TV, in radio, in community, 
in counseling, in church, in everything that we're doing. Zion Tabernacle Church, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries works hand in hand. I also want to thank personally, as I'm talking, for Zion Tabernacle Church, and especially Pastor Ellie Simmons, Sister Sharon, uh, Sister Pepper, all those that's been with me through the years. Zion, Bishop K.J. Brown Ministries, we are 17 years old. We're 17 years old. So we're continuing on that consistent gift. We're asking you for that consistent gift because we got work to do. God has given me a vision that has to happen, and I'm believing it's going to happen. I, Sometimes I listen to C.C. Wine and sing that song, Believe For It, until I be about to pass out because I believe for it. I know what he showed me. I know what he showed me in dream. I know what he showed me in vision. I know what he keeps in my spirit. And so all we're doing is asking for your help. $10 a month, $29 a month, $30, $40, $50. You might even be blessed that you can do $100 a month. But know that it's going to good ground. It might be $10,000 a month, my wife says. You never know. You never know. But guess what? Whatever your gift feels, it's confidential. Mm -hmm. It's confidential. I don't play the such and such gave, you need to give away. I don't play that. Matter of fact, at Zion Tabernacle Church, not one time have we taken up more than one offering. And the one time that we, it almost happened, Pastor Simmons stopped right in the middle of it and said, stop, don't do it. Pastor going to be upset. Bishop going to be upset. Because he says that this church cannot ever be. So what we're doing is we're asking you, we're giving you an opportunity to bless kingdom. Yeah, God just gave me that. An opportunity to bless kingdom. Our website is bishopkjbrown.org. Our church website is ztchurch.org. And all we want you to do is help in this kingdom work.